In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can give internet access to our customers with the second method, VRF AwareNet. You know that in previous video, previous scenario, we learned how we can give to our customers internet service with the road leaking. Here we are using the next method, VRF Aware. Net. VRF aware net means that we are using VRFs that VRFs aware about the net. But what is the meaning of the VRF aware net? Let me to show you. Look at here. Here we have three customers. Again, this is similar with the previous scenario. Customer A site one, customer A site two, B site one, B site two, and C site one, C site two. As you can see, all of these customers need to access to the internet okay all of them all of these sites are internet required because of that we need to configure a, a service of internet for, uh, for these customers also service providers in this as uh, for example type of connectivity uh, should give the net services to its customers look at here as you can see in the r6 in the r7 r8 r9 r10 and r11 the c rotors we don't have net why because the service provider should give the service of net in the age of service provider to the connected to the global internet look at here we are using net here not on the c rotors it is so easier than configuring one time net on the service provider edge to the internet in compare with the configuration of net in the all c rotors okay because of that the customers need and uh, does not need uh, for example to configure net uh, uh, configuration to uh, configure net detail and also uh, other features that maybe uh, create some problems for the customers in customers we are using the private ip addressing and we don't need to configure anything about the public addressing or net and a service provider can configure net itself okay don't forget in this scenario customer a site one now has reachability to customer a site two i configured it before and also customer b site one to b site two c site one to c site two i used exactly the same same configuration of the previous video because this is exactly same i didn't uh, for example use the configuration in this uh, video uh, because for better using of time i configured them before look at here only let me to show the result if you want you can check the connectivity between the vpcs from vpc1 this is pc1 we can send traffic to the 192.168.250 the pc4 look at here we have connectivity and also uh, from pc2 we can send traffic to the 192.168.450 the vpc5 again we have connectivity and from vpc3 we have connectivity to 192.168.650 again look at here from vpc3 we don't have connectivity to this ip address maybe this is because the bgp flapping let me to check it first in the rotor one yes we have bgp flapping show ip route vrfc can show us that uh, we have the roots of vrfc here show ip root vrfc yes now we have the update let me check again from vpc3 yes we have connectivity now very good now we can start the configuration of the vrf aware net it's so easy and we can configure the vrf aware net i'm going to configure the vrf aware net first in the notepad file after that we can copy the configuration in the cli this is the notepad file of the uh, configuration you know that in previous videos we configured net in the rotor 6 rotor 7 and rotor 8 and also rotor 9 and rotor 10 and rotor 11 here we don't have the configuration of net in c rotors because of that we can go to the next step in the next step we need to advertise from r1 a default route to the r6 r7 r8 and also r9 r10 and r11 if you want you can configure 
configure the uh, default route advertisement in BGP. And if you want, you can configure default static route in the C routers. Let me to use uh, the R1 to advertise default to, to the routers. Here we have three VRF, VRF A, B, and C. And you know that we configured BGP in these three VRFs, okay? In the VRF A, VRF B, and VRF C, exactly same with the previous scenario. Let me to use the command neighbor, uh, for example, 10 one six six then default originate you know that with this command we can advertise the default route into the uh, for example vrf a routing table and after that let me to use this command again for the next neighbor the neighbor 10177 neighbor 10177 and after that the last neighbor neighbor 10188 in this scenario all of the sites need to re uh, receive the internet service after that let me to configure r5 this is the r4 and this is the r5 again here we have three vrf vrf a and b and c and after that we can give the vrf a the neighbor 10599 default originate this means that please advertise default to, to router 9 and also we can configure it on the uh, rotor 5 for rotor 10 with the 10 5 10 10 okay 10 5 10 10 okay and the next rotor is the rotor 11 we need to advertise to rotor 11 a default route 10 5 11 11 okay that's it this is the configuration that we need we can copy this part of configuration uh, from the cli and paste on the r1 and also uh, r5 okay this is the cli we can copy the configuration of bgp in the rotor 5 first it's the uh, bgp of rotor 5 copy this part of configuration and pasting on the rotor 5 cli conf t okay conf t and then we can copy it here and after that we need to copy the configuration of r1 about the bgp copy okay and then paste in the rotor one now we can uh, check or verify the routing table of the ce rotors let me to check it let me to verify it in the rotor six here we can use show ip route look at here we don't have any default route. let me to clear clear bgp ipv for unicast uh, for example uh, star in to receiving the default route then show ip route now we have the default route of bgp also let me to use the clear command in all other c rotors r6 then r7 then r8 then r9 and after that r10 and r11 now we can check all of the rotors the r6 now has the default route in r7 show ip route can show us we have default route in r8 show ip route can show us that again we have default route in r9 show ip route it can show us that we have default route and also r10 show ip route okay we have default route and finally r11 this is the first part of configuration we need to have default route for receiving the traffic you know that here we didn't configure the NAT in C rotors but we need default route to receiving traffic from the uh, for example R6 now the next things that we need is the uh, for example a pass in the routing table of VRF A or VRF B or VRF C to sending the received traffic for the destination of internet to the rotor tree. You know that when we are receiving a traffic from VRF A in the R1, we need to compare that traffic with the routing table of VRF A. This is the routing table of VRF A show IP route vrf a and here as you can see we have only the private ip addresses for the uh, for example other sites here we don't have any route for the uh, for example internet here we can use the r3 to sending a default route to r1 and r5 and this should be imported only to the vrfs that need to reach to the internet because of that let me to con con uh, configure a vrf in rotor 3 because i'm going to import the roots of this vrf to the vrf a, a b and c look at here this is the rotor 3's configuration rotor 5 rotor 4 and rotor 3 here in rotor 3 we need a vrf this is the a vrf definition command and then vrf definition for example internet the vrf internet the rd of this vrf is because i use 65,000 column one for vrf 
A and 65,000 column 2 for VRF B and 65 column 3, 65,000 column 3 for VRF C. I'm going to use 65,000 column 4 for uh, the uh, internet VRF. Okay, RD 65,000 column 4. And then address family IPv4. We need to use con to configure road target. Road target import can be 65,000 column 4. Okay. 